So welcome 2K fans to part 2 of my NBA 2K17 wish list. Today we're going to discuss my NBA 2K17 fix list. Just a few things that I think need to be removed, improved, and that 2K17 needs. So what up 2K fans, it's your boy Shake and I'm back at it again, diving into this wish list. First up, we're going to discuss the things that 2K needs to fix. Number one, eliminate the auto hesitation invisible wall. It was in NBA 2K15 and you removed it out of NBA 2K15 with I think the last patch or the patch right before the last patch. But then it came back to NBA 2K16 and it absolutely turned people off. I understand what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to kind of lock down on some of the, the cheese that's in the game. But we have to come up with a better method, man, because it sucks. Remove the unnecessary fadeaway shots when your defender is behind you. This was the first year where your jumper could be completely interrupted. You could be into a di totally different jump shot animation just because a defender is within your personal space. All of a sudden, I'm getting an early release because I have a defender that's behind me and I'm doing a fadeaway and I'm not even asking to do a fadeaway. There's a whole lot of unnecessary fadeaway shots and bad releases in this year's game. Remove point guard dribble packages for centers. Why are we still in the year 2016? We've been talking about this since 2011. Why do we still see bigs with Kyrie Irving dribble packages? If you create a point guard, the point guard can't choose dunk packages that bigs have. They don't have big man dunk packages. If your dunk rating isn't high enough, you don't get certain dunk packages. Why is it fair for a guy that's seven foot three to be able to choose Kyrie Irving, Jamal Crawford moves. Remove the jumping overhead pass when you're under the basket. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's the one where the center gets the board and then he tries to pass it out but he jumps first and throws it off the back of the backboard. Where have you ever seen that in the NBA? We gotta tighten up on the yo-yo dribbles. Yo, that, that it, it's like in 2K12 it was there, then 2K13 it wasn't. 2K14 it was there, 2K15 it wasn't. 2K16, it's back with a vengeance. Let's, let's tighten up on that yo-yo dribble. And y'all know what I'm talking about. You're holding turbo. And when you touch the out-of-bounds barrier, or if the defender bumps you sometimes, the ball goes flying about 7, 8 feet, maybe 10 feet at times ahead of you, and then it just warps back to your hands. That's not a good look. We need to tighten up on the clipping as well. That's when the ball passes through a body, through a human body. You see it a lot on rebounds, especially on steals. The ball needs to become more tangible. I don't know how else to put it. It is my personal belief that the auto contest is a little ridiculous. I remember in 2K where you were rewarded for playing good defense. You push triangle to jump and block a shot or you use the right stick to get a hand up. Now the game just does it for you. How can I respect somebody's defense? if the computer is automatically making them put a hand up and change it up my jump shot. If I'm crossing them and I'm, I'm quicker than them, I want to pull up like Steph Curry or Russell Westbrook real fast, like Kyle Lowry, right in somebody's face without an auto contest. You're holding people's hand on defense with that auto contest. Come on, son. I know it's a few of y'all that disagree with me on that, but I'm just telling you, that auto contest is ridiculous. You're not really playing good defense. You're just getting your man there. You're not putting your right stick up to put a hand up, the AI is taking over your controls and doing it for you. Come on, son. Now let's talk about some quick improvements. Number one, improve the receptions on fast breaks and reduce the slowdowns. It seems like on fast breaks, a lot of the receptions, your man is, he doesn't catch it in transition with his true speed. You see LeBron James out on the break, he just kind of catches it or he'll tip it to himself, get it and then slam it. Whatever happened to that, man? There's too many slow down animations in NBA 2K16 on the fast break reception. There's really only like a couple diving save animations. Why do we have diving save animations if the vast majority of them don't even work? Can we get somebody in the mocap that's not afraid to hurt their chest or their shoulders or their arms to dive after a few loose balls into a cushion or something like that so we can get some really cool diving animations. In fact, we don't even wanna dive half the time. I just wanna jump out 
catch it and throw it back in. Let's get more of those animations into the game. Can we get a little more time on the director's cut instant replays? Since you guys won't let us get cameras behind the backboard like you used to, I'm sort of forced to use the director's cut instant replay for those images. But the director's cut instant replay is terrible. And I, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this, but it's been like three or four years now. Can we get that improved? Can we get a catch button, you know, similar to your football game? I remember all pro football, you could get a catch button for interceptions. Why do I have to rely on the game to make the decision for me whether or not I'm going to catch it, catch the ball on a bad pass? I always got to tip it first and hope that I can recover the steal. And let me be penalized heavily if I make that mistake. Make it something simple like hold down square. I don't know. Just give us a true catch button on defense so we can make the decision to go for the interception as opposed to the tip pass. This will be huge for a lot of people if they put this into the game. Same thing for putbacks. I want to be penalized heavily if I go for a putback and I miss the ball. But let me go for the putback. I don't like the game deciding for me. I, I want to go for the putback. I got a clear lane. Let me push a specific dunk button combination. And let me try to go for the putback and slam it down. If I miss it, I miss it. I'm swinging on the rim. I ruined the play. I'm out of position. The other team's going the other way. Is a guy wide open. Why is 2K still so random? Can we improve the Eurostep controls? It's, it's too close to the, the floater. You never know what you're going to get. At times, you, you want to do a Euro step, but raise your hand, guys, if you use the Euro step this year. I have never seen it on the park. No one's ever used it in the Pro-Am. I barely use it in my career. No one uses it in 2K anymore. The Euro step is like a lost art. And last on my 2K fix list, we need to talk about some of the things that 2K needs. I don't know if this is a big need, but if you play like a 12 minute quarter game in my career mode, you don't get highlights. Like that's been a problem since 2K14. Can we get highlights for 12 minute quarters? We need to go back to the NBA 2K14 jumper slash release separation. It makes the game boring. Everybody's using the same three or four jump shots. I swear, if you're considering yourself a cheeser, you gotta be using the LaMarcus Aldridge release. Why can't we have a base and a release like we used to? We need to get settings to save. Settings still don't save properly in this game. Heck, I can't even save the 2K cam that I want for the park. Why is that a problem? We need the 2K15 hop spin animations back. 2K16, after like one of the patches, y'all just completely wiped out spin move, like spin dribbles into the paint or spin moves off of people going towards the towards the rim. You spin, you hit an invisible wall. You spin and you pick up your dribble. It's getting kind of bad. It kind of removes that out of the way, just like you guys removed the Euro step. No one uses it. I need to see the bench come alive. Like my team's bench, they should come alive on highlight plays. I don't know if everybody's gonna agree with me on this, but let me explain. But we need to have at least one category, one, where we can have a 100 attribute rating. Let me explain. That would make us pick teammates a little better. If a guy had a 100 steal rating, you know that's what he's good for. He can get a lot of steals. He might not be able to knock down threes all the time. Might not be able to get a whole lot of blocks. Just one out of all the many categories. Not a whole block where you get a 100 rating. I'm just talking about one specific category. Like if I made a big and I had a 100 box out rating or a rebound rating, and then I would recruit guys that can get out there like Biombo and grab me 20 rebounds. And last but not least, 2K needs a much faster face scanning procedure. We should be further along in the face scanning technology. It needs to be faster, it should be quick, easy, and the technology should be advanced now. So this concludes my NBA 2K17 fix list. I hope some of this made some sense to you guys. Feel free to discuss some of the things that I mentioned in this video and put some of your own opinions in the comment section. It's your boy Shake. If you guys enjoyed this video, smack that like tab to show your support. Subscribe if you're new to my channel and I will be back with part three of my NBA 2K17 wish list for you guys later. They thought it was going the other way. Ha <laughs> ha, buckets.